Hey there, sign of Cancer. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for January 4th, 5th, 2021. Um, sending you much love and light as we do ask for the white light to surround us while we do this reading and surround you while you watch the reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to assist us. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate all the interaction with this channel and support that I can get. So I appreciate it. We're going to start off with Kim Cran's archetype cards. We're just, we're going to get one of these first. One of the archetype cards for Cancer, for the highest good. All right, Cancer, let's see what we've got. Oh, nice, Cancer. Nice, nice, nice. So, this is about being, the mountain is about being at your top performance, your peak. Um, you're at your peak. They, it reminds you that you can be lonely sometimes when you're on the top, you know, because he's just one person up there, but it's like he's doing something in front of a lot of people and receiving support from the trees around the mountain. It's just receiving support from the mountain itself. Just it can get lonely, but this is a time that you are going to remember being at your optimal self getting or you're approaching that time with the mountain. Let's get some oracle cards first and then we'll do your tarot. Let's get wisdom of the oracle deck for cancer. For cancer, yin, yeah. Okay, so the yin energy is that feminine energy that's going to get you far in life and far in your manifestation. It's that passive action. So it's waiting to receive. It's being in the receiving mode of flow <clears throat> for your manifestation. And then deep knowing may indicate some spiritual gifts. Excuse me. <clears throat> may indicate spiritual gifts, uh, clairvoyance, clairsentience just so many ways that you can say you have a deep knowing you know when when you know how something's going to turn out or you know what's coming next because of something in your gut and it just tells you that's trusting your intuition that's your deep knowing so let's move on let's see how the rest of the and then maybe it's a deep knowing that you're going to be at your peak Maybe that's what it's talking about. But the yin energy is great because you really don't have to do anything except be open to receive your manifestation, your gifts. Be open to receive your gifts. That might be what it's about. This is the spell casting deck. Oh, I like the butterfly card. I just saw it. All right, for Cancer. One, let's get another one. Two, one, two, ah, uh -uh. home, home, happiness. All right, so guys, th this is really great. This happiness is about a, a dream come true. Like, let me get the book and I'll show you. Or I'll read to you what the book says about it gives um, like it just gives a few sentences that sum up this card so we'll get to home after that happiness can mean an event has a very happy outcome well of course because you're gonna be at your peak actively seek out situations that are positive and uplifting meaning try to see the silver lining in things there's always a silver lining even if there's a storm, there may be a shakeup, uh, but it's for the better, for things to get rebuilt. Good news arrives, happiness is yours, and a happy outcome is assured. That's nice. And then home. And then home. A house sale goes through. Someone's trying to make themselves at home. Put your boundaries in place or clear out any clutter. 
So, you know, one or many of those might apply to you. Um, you just take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. All right, so here's your Oracle cards. We'll stick those right there. Those are so pretty. Okay, yeah, you can see them all. All right, we're gonna do tea leaves after we do the tarot. We're gonna use the Rider Waite tarot and we're gonna figure out what the issue is, what the challenge is, what the past and the future and spirit advice. Nice, 10 of pentacles on my split with the two of cups, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm really drawn to that happiness card. And it may be a deep knowing of something. Something that has to do with your happiness. With you being at your peak. Let's see what else we get on the split. Page of Swords. Four of Wands. Gathering information. Having celebration time. Celebration for milestones met. Let's see what the issue is for cancer right away. You know what's funny is I said I see that butterfly card. The butterfly card in this deck, which there is a butterfly right there, um, is means basically what the death card means. It's complete transformation. And it's, it's also a time of transitioning. And sometimes change can be uncomfortable. I know that. But this transition that you're making it's it's kind of like a closure or a death and ending to a part that wasn't suiting you anymore to something that just wasn't either it wasn't serving you or it wasn't serving everyone else and you so this is a complete transition now i know for some people this m might really mean that you're mourning a death in the family that's definitely not going to be everybody though challenges challenge to the death card or this transformation mm. challenge i don't know if that's a cha oh okay maybe this the maybe the challenge is getting together period like for celebration for making memories uh for going out drinking something like that maybe Maybe there's some kind of closure to something that you used to do so easily. And maybe it has to, maybe it's closure with a friend. It could be closure with a friendship. Um, this sometimes can mean a reunion too. Let's look at the past position. I think this one's wanting to come out. The Empress. Okay, past position. The very it's a very motherly card. This indicates fertility, or it indicates a venture that is going to be very successful. And maybe the seeds were planted in the past. Um, the Empress also stands for fertility, good luck, things coming to through fruition, fruition. <laughs> Um, being able to take care of, you know, she can take care of thousands of people. She's over empires. She's the mother to all, almost like mother nature. Um, the empress is kind, giving, successful because she's wanting the outcome for the greater good. And she gets that love and support that she needs. And it can indicate, like I said, fertility too. All right. Future, future spot for cancer. Oh, goodness. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's like that just, it's all wanted to come out. So I really don't know. This might be the future. I find it funny that High Priestess came out kind of near that deep knowing card. And you know, the High Priestess is very uh, psychic, intuitive. Um, yeah, she's all about being very, very... Um, very knowing <laughs> a deep knowing she's passive action too which is represented by the yin and the full energy and that's pisces and then we have aries the full is that um start that 
you, you may be a little naive about what you're getting into, but it's going to be something really excited. And it's um, asking you to take a leap of faith here in the near future. The King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or, or, okay, so we either have it as a character or it did land kind of in the, um, the reverse, which would mean somebody who's kind of manipulative with the emotions. If it doesn't mean this, then it just simply means what it means upright, which is somebody who can lead with a diplomatic sense to them, with um, love and compassion. He has his cup, so he, he even has his unconscious emotions in check, and he can mentor people. He has a scepter in one hand, so indicating control over his, over his kingdom. And the nine of wands is that advice from spirit. That's usually what I ask last. So advice from spirit is don't give up. Persist and don't give up. Persist and don't give up. All right. Because it's I feel like it's about to manifest, whatever this is. Your peak. Um something to do with your happiness and and definitely passive action it's something uh that maybe you even took from the empress you might have even uh had some like that might have been more action-packed in the past and then the future is going to be something brand new to you but i think it can be sensed intuitively if that makes sense and maybe the home being next to happiness simply means happiness within the home, right? All right. So I do have wreath. I do have sorrow over a loss. Um, this could be, it could be the sorrow over getting together with people. It could be the sorrow over a death. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it could be either of those. You know, it, it's a closing. It's the ending to something. So... It can feel like a loss if you view it that way. Then we have bags, something important, such as a new job or a raise. Nice. Heels, obstacles to overcome. And it does say overcome. So potentially this is definitely something that you're going to get through. Sun, we might be dealing with a Leo. Uh, happiness and well-being and there's happiness again coming in this is looking good it's looking like whatever this challenge was you went through before it's gonna turn out better for you just deal with love and diplomacy and know that what you're doing is coming from your heart for the greater good of all and then what you're doing will multiply so thank you so much for joining me guys join me for your next reading sending love and light out to you Bye bye